new season in League One. We've got some new faces. Very exciting. But more exciting, we've got some old faces back. Welcome back. Episode 22 of our wonderful Cadbury's Heroes. Before before I jump into anything, and if you feel, have a little read around the screen while I'm saying this, but if you can like, subscribe, show your support on the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And what else is appreciated is the fact that some of our old players returned. I'm very excited about it. I don't know if you can tell. We've played two games in the league already. We've played Wigan. Decent team, very decent team. We drew 1-1 one, one, away from home. We then played Coventry, relatively local to us. Another decent team. We beat them 2-0. Fantastic. We'll go through and show the goal scorers. But before we do so, we'll run through our transfers. Going to run through the release players firstly. I'm not going to go into them too much, but obviously you can see the names. Um, there's a few that jump out like uh, Nichols, Pruti, Conlon um, and Toby Stevenson. We've also lost Harry Taylor. Newport County signed him on a free, which is a thing, apparently. We have brought in to replace all of them. Benjamin, fantastic name. He's of Brazilian descent. Benjamin Gonçalves de Silva. Shortened to Benjamin. It's just a bit funny. It just is. He's, um, he's a decent player. Left-sided, left-footed, which isn't ideal because we like him to cut in. But when he's got a name like that, how could I not sign him? Followed that up with Brad Hills, the centre-back, kind of replacement for Harry Taylor, to be fair. Very decent, like, on a free. His wages are a little bit high, but he's a good player. And he's been playing playing in this league, and he had a really good rating over the year for Cambridge, so it made sense for us to bring him in. Kazu Bazira, he's our new left mid, right-footed, does what we want him to. Pretty high technique. Physicals are pretty standard. Um, pretty standard? They're not standard. They're pretty high. They were to a high standard. He's, um, he's, a, good, he's a good little player. Sadik Buwadu, one of the returning faces. And he's not on loan. We signed him. On, on a free. Obviously, he was out of contract. So he's going to be our new box-to-box -box player. Or old. Or replacement. Or whatever the wording you want of that is. But he's going to be taken over from Key. He's on 3.4 grand a week. And he's, he's pretty handy. He's, he's, he's pretty goddamn good. Stevie Peaks back on loan again. Spoiler, he's not playing in midfield, he's playing at centre-back. I know he's only 5'11", but he's got a decent jumping reach. His heading's all right, and he's tackling. He's, he's up there with the best. So, we've dropped him back a little bit. Hopefully it's going to be a good idea. We lost our goalie in the way of Nicholson, or Nicholas. I forgot his name already. He's gone. He's gone. Don't care about him. Doesn't exist anymore. We've brought in Mike Colton, again on a free. And at 6'6", six He's, he looks pretty pretty good, pretty good, pretty cheap wages as well. He's going to give um, Grashik a nice little battle for that number one spot. Also returning, one of our former players is Tyrrell Gunnell. He's all right at the moment. He's got good vision, good passing, okay technique. He's still quite young. He's got a lot of potential still, apparently. Um, I don't know how much I'll read into this, but he's okay. And he came through our youth team as well, so it was nice to bring him back. We brought in on free transfers before the window started, really, from when the uh, Premier League teams released their youngsters. We brought in Ignacio Waller. He's all right. Probably isn't going to make too much of a dent into the first team, but it'd be a good cover. Also, Geraint Jennings. Um, he probably will make a battle into the first team, to be fair, if you're looking at his stats. Fantastic technique. His aggression's quite high. And I'm thinking that deep line playmaker role. Hopefully, he can make his own. And the signing I'm most excited about is Adam Stevenson's back. He's back. How exciting. How wonderfully exciting. And not only, not only is he back, we signed him for, like, actual money. He was with us for half of the season um, when we got promoted from League Two. He didn't do anything last year for Villa by the looks of it, but... He's came over to us for 46 grand. And he's going to be rotating between... Oh, he's disappeared. 
is going to be rotating between the deep line playmaker role and the deep line forward role. I'm not 100% sure on which one I want. So with a 17 jumping reach and eight heading, heading's not the best, but he's an absolute monster. So he'll, um, he'll do good for us. He just needs to find a home. Here we are with QPR. Championship QPR at that, who are currently managed by Mikel Arteta. I don't know if that's good or bad for him or them. I assume bad for him, good for them. At the uh, upsettingly named Cayenne Prince Foundation Stadium. Upsetting reason, but I like why QPR have named it that. So it's good for them to raise awareness of knife crime and all that madness, but it's a shame that it's had to happen. But you think people can just be like, just, just not go around murking people? It's not hard. Just be a decent human being, but apparently that's beyond people. Between this um, scene and the previous one, I've been out and played football. Uh, what's also happened is uh, I'm really old. I shouldn't be playing football because I feel broke. My back doesn't exist anymore. My throat hurts for some reason. It's just not a thing. Like, just don't do it. It's not good for you. Don't do exercise. We're going to be playing Colton in goal. Watkin Jones, Astley, Peak, and El Morsi across the back four. Kamara and Bezerra outside of Stevenson and Boadu. And then we have John and McGregor up top. There is one upsetting piece of news. Astley's trying to force a move away. And uh, I'm trying to not make it happen or get two and a half million pounds. I don't think the two and a half million pounds realistic, but I'm going for it. He's still got four years left on his contract, so he ain't going anywhere unless somebody pays us a small fortune. We're heading towards half an hour. Haven't had a highlight yet, except for this one. It's, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily bad. We're, we're playing okay. They've had obviously more shots. Oh, and El Morsi heads it away. Goal doesn't even need to make a save. Stevenson, the giant, is running forward. He's got a man in front of him. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that shot was on the floor and going about seven yards wide. I was about to kick off. Almost half time. They've had comfortably more shots, but they've not really challenged too much with them. We're not doing bad. We've, we've not had much possession at all. And it's the passes completed I'm more concerned about. It's less than 80%. There's a throne for us on the right-hand side. It's put to Kamara. Boadu's got it in the area. Puts it towards the back post, but it's headed away by a QPR defender. And Morton is breaking for them. Oh, fantastic tackle from Peak, but it does fall straight back to Marne. He gets himself into the area, and El Morsi kicks him, but does not give away a penalty, which is all lovely. That fella, whoever his name was, oh god, it's back to him. Lander Zauri? Not a clue. Uh, anyway, Morton's had a shot. Just over. Goalkeeper look concerned. As a uh, corner, Hutchinson's putting it in. Oh, it's gone to the back post and just no one picking him up. We even had a man on the line. Wasn't sufficient. It's uh, it's 1-0 to the championship outfit. I don't normally watch highlights of their goals, but it's more just like anyone. Anyone want to do a job? Goalie had to obviously run over from near to far post. <laughs> but there was two people there and no one challenged him. What's the worst that could happen? We're 65 minutes in and I'm making three substitutions. I'm taking off John for Soul and shuffling McGregor back to the deep line forward. I've brought on Geraint Jennings for Stevenson and I've shuffled Kamara over to the left hand side and I brought in James Clark to go up and play on the right wing. 73rd minute, we've got a uh, throw in on the left hand side. Jennings puts it back to El Morsi. He gets tackled by Hamilton. I don't know. And just stop it. Just stop attacking. Give me the ball. Let us score. Everyone's happy. Doesn't appear that that's going to be the case. Landazuri's got the ball again for them. Sheaf's had a shot from the edge of the area. It appears to have hit Watkin Jones and gone in. That's not what I wanted to see. There's a good ball out here from Hutchinson. Landazuri sees his man on the edge of the area. Gets it out to him. He has a pop. And I don't even know what Watkin Jones was attempting. It's just hit him in the face and gone in. Uh oh.
Less than five minutes left now. It doesn't appear that we're going to get anything out of it. They have a throw-in, which we've managed to uh, get possession from. Clark knocks it forward to Sol, puts it over to McGregor. He's got a defender in front of him, and he's turned around and passed it all the way back to the halfway line. El Morsi gets it forward to Kamara. It's hits him on the back. This is um, a bit of a calamity, this is at the moment, but can we get something from it? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. We've only got three minutes of the game left to try and get an equaliser, but if we're going to score one goal, then why wouldn't it be in this fashion? <laughs> the goalie as well. I'm pretty sure the Shelley in goal for them used to play for us. Um, I, I can't remember his name because they keep getting me to try and sign him. He's not that good. He's all right. Trevor Butchers. Uh, he did, he did. Isaac Shelley. Is worth 1.9 to 4.7 million. He never played for us. QPR signed him on a free. Of course they did. Do we get anything from it if they sell him? No. Not a penny. We shall return the next episode with either Stevenage and Birmingham. And I'll tell you what happened in the window. But if we've been particularly busy, we'll be back for just the Blues game. And I'll show you our new players. But I think it probably will be the both of them. And um, I hope to see you there. But if you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell. Thank you very much for your time.